Good morning, everybody out there in YouTube land, whether you be man, woman, or in between, I don't know. But welcome, one and all. Um, something I've noticed recently is when did when did everybody become so sensitive? You know, I mean, I'm not going to give you examples, although I do have a fair few. But it just seems that, and I'm not talking about anybody in particular, but it just seems that everybody's oversensitive now to whatever anybody says, irrespective of what the topic is. Um, I don't know what's really happened to society, to be honest. It, it kind of worries me, really, because it's kind of, you, you tend to watch your P's and Q's around people for fear of upsetting the balance and, and sending them off in a sulk or in tears. Um, I don't really know when this came about. I mean, I always remember growing up, and when I was growing up, there was never any of that. I mean, you know, like all children, I was shouted out, I was smacked, I was told what to do and when to do it and how to do it, and I had to adhere to, um, you know, the... Um, the laws as were laid down by the adults and then as I grew up obviously I was dictated to by the older people in the workplace and just in life in general not to the point where they ran my life but you know I was told to watch my p's and q's and what to do and what not to do although by that time I'd realized and I'd never taken offense at anybody um even if something did tend to be slightly on the edge of insulting shall we say or whatever you know I never took I used to just brush it off like oh that's that's the way it is isn't it that's the sort of thing that happens not particularly worried by it not fussed by it but now it seems to be everything um and I mean just the most innocuous things that people are upset by it's you know even if you look at somebody wrong you don't acknowledge somebody or for whatever reason you might not be completely there at the time you might be thinking about what you're having for dinner that night or, you know, things that you need to do that are at the foremost in your mind. I just don't really know. It seems to be quite... People have got awfully complex, and I don't know why. You know, I mean, I was at school, I, I mean, I wasn't the best of children, like most children. I mean, I was a lad. I used to get caned, and I used to be put in detention, the same as every other child, but we kind of took it as read that that was it, that was the way it was, and... You know, I think it moulded us. It gave us a perspective on life and it learned us, learned us, taught us to respect other people and to respect um, property. Um, and in a way, respect other people's beliefs and opinions and ideas. But now it seems to be very much that, you know, if you don't go along with what everybody else decrees, then you're against them. You're, I mean, you're insulting them. And I don't understand this. I mean, it's very... Something I hear banded about a lot lately is... Um, I can't think what it's called now. A snowflake. It's a snowflake. You're a snowflake. It's a snowflake society. And I used to... I mean, I never really gave it much thought when it initially came... When I initially heard it a few years ago. But now I kind of understand what they mean when somebody's called a snowflake. It's like they can't deal with the real world anymore. It's like they can't... It's, I think what's happened, and this is my personal opinion, and of course I may be completely off centre here, but I think that the last couple of generations have been so mollycoddled and so worshipped and put up on pedestals. And there's nothing wrong, of course there's nothing wrong with, you know, loving your children and wanting everything that's best for them. But I think they've been so put up on a pedestal as to being something other than what they are or more important not that they're more important nothing's more important than children but they've been treated like um they've been treated like kings and queens and because of this because of this adoration i think they've grown up with this this idea that they're entitled it's an entitlement and from that i think comes this this perspective that they have of, you know, of everybody insulted them, no matter what they say or what they do. I don't really know. I mean, 
rules and regulations, you know, they're there for a reason, aren't they? They're there to keep society in check um, and to make sure that everybody rubs along the right way. But it's got to the point now where it's, it's getting ridiculous. Those, those, it's hard to say. It's, it's just, it just, it throws me. But it's getting to the point where it's getting beyond the pale now. Where you're frightened to say anything or do anything for fear of upsetting somebody. I don't know. Is it a millennial thing? I don't know. You know, I certainly don't know anybody from my generation that was like that. But, I don't know. I mean, it seems to be anybody below 40 now, or even slightly lower than that, 35, seems to be entitled. And it's it's like the world doesn't work like that. It's never worked like that. You know, my parents always taught me that, you know, the world is what you make it. And you do show respect to people because that's what you want to get back, you know. And without showing respect, then you're not going to gain any. But... This whole idea of, well, it's my right. It's my right to be respected. It's my right to be treated in with with kid gloves and, and be mollycoddled. Um, and anybody who doesn't do it, do it well, will be tied them. And this goes right the way through this this younger generation, it seems to. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of, a lot of kids out there that are great, fantastic. You know, um, and in a lot of cases, more respectful than a lot of the older generation. But they tend to be the youth that have brought up with reality, with a real perspective on life, and not the ones that have been brought up closeted and and, and, and wrapped in cotton wool, you know. I don't I don't understand. I don't really know where it's coming from. I don't I don't understand. Maybe it's connected to the lack of um common sense and education because a lot of the generation now, I mean, when I was growing up, when I left school, university wasn't a thing. It wasn't, it was not a given. You know, I was a working class lad and I came from a working class background. And yeah, although my fa some of my family and brothers went to university, it wasn't something that I did. Um, but they were older than me, you know. Uh, I, I don't, and that was, they went to university, I think, in the days when I think it meant something. Now I'm treading now I'm treading on stony ground here, aren't I? Not that I'm saying it doesn't mean anything anymore, but it just seems to be that everybody's going to university. It's like, you know, it, it's not as special as it used to be. Um and that's not the inverted snob in me, it just doesn't seem to be. But yeah, I mean the kids when I was growing up, they were straight out to work or they were straight doing whatever they were doing, you know, off left school and off on their jolly way and uh and and that was it. But now, I mean, it's straight from school. I don't even think they leave at the same age anymore. It's about 19 now, isn't it? And then secondary education and then straight into university. And then they're out in the real world by, I don't know, 25, 26, what have you. And of course, they've got no real world experience at that age. So you're looking at adults without any kind of concept of the real world. So they don't really know how to function in it. And because of that, I think, because of that, this is why they're sort of wet. And um, this is why they're, they're, they're kind of weak-spirited. Weak um, because they've not been given any of the sort of classical training that we've been given. You know, when I say classical training, I mean your general growing up, getting a job when you're 14, 15, paper round, washing cars, whatever you might do. Um, and then going into straight into work, sort of sixteen, seventeen years old. They, they, there's none of that. They're not brought up with any of that. They're, they're kind of everything they want is is given to them. You know, my parents were never rich. There, there was a lot of things that I wanted, but I didn't need them, and therefore I wasn't getting them. And even if they were needed, there were occasions when we couldn't get them. Whereas now, children, it's very much everything's thrown at them and everything's given to them right away from this the credit card culture. You know, when I was a kid, my dad always said to me, if you want anything, save for it and then get it, you know. But now, it's a credit card culture. 
the thrown credit cards and of course everything is it's immediate gratification i don't know i think it's a whole host of things it's a whole um combination of different things that negative things like credit cards and like not being introduced to the real world until you're sort of in your mid late 20s by that time when i was a kid people were married with children of their own you know um i don't know i don't know don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with wanting more for your children than you i mean there'd be something wrong if you didn't want better or more for your children than than you had but by the same token i think they need a taste of real life to understand that to understand that you it's all very well having your own um your own things that you want people to respect you for but you have to respect people for their own beliefs as well you know and because your belief your belief doesn't tally with another's or your theory on life doesn't tally with another's doesn't mean that there's any less credible than yours it just means that they've got a different perspective on life but i don't know it's very it's very weird and very odd and it's one of those questions that i kind of ponder quite often i don't know what is the answer i, I don't know maybe you know maybe these kids need a taste of real life maybe they need to understand that it's not a bed of roses and that you know you do get kicked in the teeth a lot and you can't have everything you want immediately. I don't know. It's the culture, isn't it? And it does worry me because I do think to myself, it's, it's the lack of common sense as well, which is something I think that you can only get through growing up the way that I did and the way that the other uh, my generation did. I sound like I'm old now. I don't know I'm old, but I sound like I'm ancient. You know, you're growing up knowing the true value of something because you've had to work for it or you've seen your parents working for, for just to put the basic around you and working working bloody hard to, to put the basic things around you, which doesn't seem, I don't know, it's better in a lot of ways, but it's also worse. And I think that it's not great for society the way that it's working not that i'm a big fan of society anyway i never have been but anyway that's it that's me pondering so i hope you're all okay out there and um yeah just uh look after yourselves and i'll speak to you very soon it's enough of me rattling off speak to you soon bye guys